this voice over the nations where a perfect God is at work doing perfect things, perfect ways with perfect results in you. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is Apostle Dr. Eric Stewart, and uh, I am coming to you again with a uh, an amazing word of redemption. And uh, it is very, very, very uh, profound uh, that the Holy Spirit would speak the things that he has spoken. I'm going to review some of those things. But, but first of all, just meditate on this. Look, you are ransomed, you're purchased, you're redeemed. But you are that by the will of God. But don't think that you were so wretched beyond repair that God couldn't fix you. Don't do that. I'll tell you why. Hallelujah. The reason why Jesus Christ was able to successfully purchase you, ransom you, redeem you is because and the Lord sent a word to me. Tell them, oh hallelujah, tell my people, if you are redeemed, if you are saved, if you are ransomed, call yourself a son of God. Tell them for me that Jesus Christ does not see you the way you see yourself. His job, along with the Holy Ghost, is to get you to understand that you have a quality in you which allows you to be redeemed. You have redeemability. Jesus Christ sees you as the perfect son of God that you're going to become. You're going to, this is why Jesus Christ is able to move in extreme love. Touch you on your hip and bring it back to life and touch you on your shoulder and, and bring it back to life. Touch you on your head and bring it back because he sees you as God sees you. Perfectly healed, perfectly redeemed, ransomed, walking around like the son of God that you are. I'm not going to forget to tell you that. And I'll tell you again, he doesn't see you as you see yourself. But one day you're going to see yourself as a reflection of himself in you. You're going to, oh, Rabbi, Messiah, you're going to see that. This is why we're pressing this issue. It must be done. There has to be a great in gathering. It's coming, folks, and uh, we are on it. Amen. To God be the glory. Here are some things that we talked about the last time. We talked about how God set about to redeem and purchase the firstborn of everything in Israel, even the livestock. Because he owns the genealogy, if you will, you know, your computer folks, the hardware, he owns it. <laughs> and it, it, there's no other owner. Whatever they tell you about the devil. No. God has rights to the genealogy. And he's pressing the issue on your behalf today. In Jesus' name. And that's it. Uh, uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Set out. 
to redeem the firstborn and to bring Jesus Christ into the picture, the first and the perfect original copy of himself so that he can reproduce sons like his own kind after his own kind. It is true in the name of Jesus Christ. And we checked it out and saw that Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 1 sat at the head of the, the tribe of Abraham, the genealogy of Abraham by faith in the name of Jesus. And it was really interesting looking through the genealogy again after 20 years and looking to see who all those imperfect people that showed up in the bloodline of Jesus Christ. So uh, give yourself a pat on the back and say, oh, I made it. Oh, apostle, I made it. <laughs> then we said that nobody can come to the Father except the Spirit draws him. That was in John chapter six and forty four. So so don't be don't be thinking that uh, you're hiding or you you lost. The Holy Spirit is on a, a, a redemptive trail looking for you and the spirit the Bible says I prove to you that if you are found by Christ Jesus today that the Holy Spirit has been successful in locating you because you were also predestined to be a son of God. Now, 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 that is going to be a birth in your spirit in a miraculous way. You say, is that all true? Yes, it's true. But all these things are going to happen uh, simultaneously, sometimes really fast, and you can't tell the difference. That's all right, or otherwise you'll be, you'll be like a you know, schizophrenic person. What? What? Wait, no. no, no, no. This is hidden from you, but revealed to God himself. God knows it. You don't have to worry about it, or else you wouldn't sleep. The Lord bless you, and so you come to the Father by the will of the Holy Spirit. And then we talked about the process of redemption as John saw it in 1 John 5, 1 to 12. And I have asked you in the next week, go and look into 1 John chapter 5 and 12 and you will see how you have become a son of God. And uh, the Lord bless you today in the name of Jesus Christ, the process of redemption. Now I'm going to pray that prayer of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Because uh, you cannot get into this thing. You can't enter this process without first being bought back, ransomed, redeemed uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. What a miracle. I, I, I can't even get over the last time I spoke to you. But let's pray. And so this prayer was written personally, you know, for personal salvation. But uh, I put this prayer on the website so that uh, everyone getting a hold of it, uh, you can download it and pray salvation for your street, for the nation you came out of, for your classroom. You can pray salvation for two or three people that you think are winners. You can pray and you pray and pray and today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ as I intercede uh, because I was sent to do it. And sometimes folk thought it was an evangelist who did this. Well, we are who he says we are. So Father, today as I pray for salvation across the nations, uh, I do this with urgency. And I pray by your spirit that uh, other leaders are putting aside whatever they think is important and uh, pressing into the will of God. Uh, Father, today I choose. I first, I submit my will to your will through Jesus Christ. And if I do that, I know that you are able to use all of my will for your purposes. And so then uh, I un we understand then that Christ Jesus is the only means by which we can be made alive from trespasses and sin. The Bible says we were dead in it. Dead. I believe and we believe that Jesus Christ is your son and my only savior. We want to be sure that we have eternal life, which only he gives. Now Christ Jesus, I speak to you now, Christ Jesus. We believe you can hear us. 
Therefore, I am now asking you to forgive all our sins and trespasses as we repent of all and ask you to forgive them all as we know you came to do this work of forgiveness. I know that through you we have the Holy Spirit who will help us. Oh, Holy Spirit, the governor, <laughs> the paraclete, the comforter will help us. He'll help us in the way we're following you, how we follow you, and in how we please the Father. He's going to help us. We can't do it ourselves. And so even as you, Christ Jesus, pleases the Father, so we want to please the Father. Thank you, Christ Jesus, for all your work on the cross, I accept your blood. We accept the blood as a means of our redemption and our salvation. We accept that. Look, there are other arguments, there are all kinds of stuff, but this gospel comes by the blood of Christ Jesus and our redemption and our salvation. Amen. The Lord bless you indeed. Praise be to God. So we praise the Lord. Now then, the last time I I cautioned you, I, I, I see some things. Uh, you know, Solomon would say, I see something happening under the sun. Well, I see some things that the redeemed of the Lord are redeemed into spirit by spirit. Resist the urge, hallelujah, to get back at a world that may not have treated you all that well. People that thought you didn't know anything, you know, passed you up and uh, did all kinds of manipulations and this and, and try to, you know, do things right well we know that's the world we don't want that in the kingdom we don't want it and we say no to that so don't go after the world stuff if riches increase don't set your heart on them it's best to give than to receive don't try the beatitudes don't, don't go after the world stuff just to prove that you made it. Don't do it. It looks foolish. Because somebody has to pay for that lifestyle that you think somebody owes you. No, we don't owe you. Show how prosperous you have become. No, wait a minute. I'm saying to you today, be debt free. By whatever means, do this. Be debt free be leaven free be free indeed then those who are getting as much of the world's stuff as they want be reminded of who is to pay for that stuff now be careful in the name of Jesus Christ it's a great thing to know that you have access to all that the Father has and to be satisfied with the knowledge of that. The Lord bless you today. Hallelujah. Now, oh, there's many revelations and words of knowledge. We praise the Lord. As we, somebody say, somebody say, uh, how do I know that all that you're saying is happening? Is there any signs? Well, yes, there are signs. Many signs. Even in the body. Even in the body. Maybe you hear better. You hear more. And maybe your sense of smell is heightened. Yes, 
Maybe some of the things that you didn't care about at all, you're beginning to give God thanks for them. I mean, like, wait a minute. There was a day that God created trees and animals. Wow. You mean there's divine order? Wow. Yes. There's some things that uh, you just took for granted that you're going to begin to give God thanks for. Yes, it's a sign of your redemption. Uh, Peter calls it, uh, what do you call it, uh, participating in the divine nature. Hallelujah. And so you're going to begin to give God credit for things. And then <laughs> you're going to desire, well, wait a minute. Can I hear his voice? Yes. I know the apostle can hear. How does that happen? By staying in the quiet diligently throughout the years. It's not overnight or else you'll be spooked. And so, <laughs> then, remember, a conversion, a redemption is actually a long-term healing that's happening in your mind, your body, and your soul. So resi re resign, look, take this from me, believe this. Redemption and salvation is a renewing, healing process. And so that's why we pray for salvation so that the process can begin. Let the process begin. Welcome to the family, the sons of God. Now, praise be to God. Now, here's a question. And let me race on. What is it then that you were redeemed out of? Well, is it an identity crisis? You'd be surprised how many Issues in life are uh, connected to identity crises. That's why you need to believe what I'm saying when I tell you a perfect God. This is such a, a, a rapid, corrective, focusing word that a perfect God is uh, doing perfect things that you hear, yeah, perfect things in you. He, he's just like, a, where? Perfect things <laughs> in perfect ways. With perfect results. That is the greatest focusing word that I ever heard. If I say so myself. Are you coming out of religious bondage? Culture issues, race identification issues, falsehoods, religious bondages. What's well, so everyone who is redeemed from something, some situation, they're out of alignment with God's plans. Yes, uh, if you need redemption, you're out of alignment with God's plans, his thoughts, his purposes. And if we are all not, we're able, no, we're not able to successfully bring you back into a spiritual, mental correctness. If we're not able to do that by our preaching, teaching, praying, interceding, then you, you, if you are not perfectly realigned over time, you're going to even misunderstand the Word of God. You're going to say crazy things like, oh, the Bible, you know, it, 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 some things are missing. Uh, wait a minute. It, it contradicts itself. No, it does not. No. You know why that you need a teacher and a preacher and apostle? And why you need to study the Word of God? And why if you're not perfectly realigning with God's nature, hallelujah, and with the Son, here is some mistakes you're going to make. God said something. In Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8 to 11, here is where you have a problem. We must line up with this chapter. Listen to this. God says, you have a problem because my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. As the heavens is higher than the earth and as the snow comes down from heaven, it does not return unless it connects to something, does the job that I sent it to do. <laughs> and uh, the rain and the snow causes the earth to bud and flower. You don't understand the divine nature and the action. <clears throat> 
The earth yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. But my word does not return to me empty. So if it's returning empty, we have some work to do in bringing you into alignment. And we don't need to go all over the place. If that is what the issue is, that is what we need to do. We don't skip over to number 10 and we don't do number 5, 6, 7, and 8. No, no, no. And say God says that one day, I promise you, when a word of wisdom comes and a word of knowledge comes and you're going to say, well, wait a minute. Uh, I heard that. I knew that. Uh, and when God begins to speak to you and then something happens and you go to Amos 3 and 7 and you say, well, wait a minute. Didn't he say that's a, a prophetic thing, my friends, the prophets? And it, it, these things are ahead of you. Stay on course. Let me say this. The day that I truly understood that God had created me with his own exceptional divinity, no one ever gets over the fact and you're not supposed to get over the fact that you are created like your creator. The day that I found that out, that day I was redeemed. Nobody could change my mind. I'm not even attached to the country that I'm born in. No, I'm not attached to nothing but God. Perfectly redeemed. Then God said something about himself that you need to know and I'm going to take this up with you another time because it's a long chapter but it's a word of knowledge one day the Lord is going to keep sending you words and it's going to be a word to alert you to something tell you to change your mind about something wait a minute you say you're sick but I'm sending you a chapter to tell you you're not sick so you're going to have to say no to the sickness I believe this and so God said something about himself. Isaiah 52. It's quite long and we're going to get into it next time. But he is bringing the Israelites into the knowledge and the truth of the fact that he has redeemed them. This Isaiah 52 has been fulfilled because he has sent the Messiah forth and everything that he has said Isaiah 52 you can then decree it and you can declare it for yourself it is amazing you are lying in bed you say you're depressed he said no get up shake off the dust break the yoke off your neck daughter of Zion Elo Jehovah and then then he begins to say your problem is come out from Babylon come out of the world system I'm telling you that I have redeemed you now get up and leave whatever that thing is that issue that representation of the world system come out of Babylon do not touch the unclean thing. He says, I'm your maker. I'm going to be back and I'm going to go through this uh, amazing chapter and say, now, say, well, God chooses certain people and sends them with a word because they are those to whom he has sent many words. And they understand what God is saying. And I'm saying to you, the next time we meet, we're going to go through Isaiah 52. Because uh, it's a long chapter, but why don't you do this? In the meantime, check it out for yourself. The Lord is good. You're on an awesome journey. So stay focused and know that a perfect God, hallelujah, is doing a perfect work every second of the day, doing a perfect work in you, in perfect ways. Say amen. The Lord bless you, you that have been purchased 
ransom and redeem. Let the Lord say so. Amen. The Lord bless you. I'll see you in a bit. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. Look. God, hallelujah, has so set you up for success. Your success may not look like everybody else's success, but I'm telling you, you are in for an amazing time. It's going to happen quickly because I'm hearing some things. In the name of Jesus. Here, here's this. God, even, listen to this. Even those Hebrews that are scattered among the nations, God is still sending a word of redemption to them. They're not all in Tel Aviv. They're not all in Jerusalem. Israel is the size of New Jersey. Get it straight, folks. So to all of them, all of the descendants of the tribes and all the nations, redemption has also come to them through Yeshua, their Savior. Help me pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so, now we're going to go on with this wonderful, wonderful redemption process because uh, we, we, we're not at the renewing of the mind and all that stuff yet. No. We're not at receiving an assignment yet. We just want you to know that you're free. That Jesus Christ has been given all rights to purchase. And he has the power to do it. Did not he say all power is given unto me? Folks, Praise the Lord. Get on the website. Folks are asking me to pray, and I'm diligent to do it. Expect your breakthrough in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Amen. Get to the website. It's active. Folk are blessed by it across continents. Thousands blessed by it. I make sure it's a teaching tool, keeping it active, blessing you, loving you on it. And please, um, uh, I thank you and those who are sending uh, donations by uh, whatever means you may do so. We are working on some wonderful things, expanding ministries. We are also taking care of some folks in some other countries. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. You can reach Apostle Dr. Eureka Stewart via email at breakthrough at BethesdaMiracle.com. On her website at BethanyCovenantAlive.net, use the contact us. On Facebook at Apostle.dr.stewart. Voice Over the Nations TV ministry is on the MFTN network. That's Missions for the Nations every day at 4.30 p.m. It's on YouTube every Sunday at 5 p.m. Search under Voice Over the Nations. It's also on Facebook on the Fire of Jesus Christ Ministries. New episodes are released every Wednesday. Thereafter, it's available on the Bethany Covenant Alive net website. Donate. If you are in agreement with what the Apostle is doing, sow into her ministry and become a partner. Use the donate link on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Prayer requests are available on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Put the Apostle to work for you. Share your prayer requests. She will pray for you and into your situations. Service. See the Apostle live in action, preaching the now word of God every Sabbath. That's Saturday from noon till 3 p.m. Use the contact us to find out how you can join us virtually on Zoom. Donate. You are in agreement with helping the Apostle to take her ministry to the nations. Become a partner. Use the donate link on the Bethany Covenant Alive.net website. Oh.